power and the demons at Adelaide Oval shit conditions in what should be quite the contest between these top four sides. To start us off, holding free kick at the first bounce. Why does this happen every single game? A free kick at the first bounce. It's like the umpires want to make a name for themselves early on. Nevertheless, this one was actually correct and Oliver was being held without the ball. High contact on Van Royen. Head over the ball as he goes to pick it up. No need to put the extra mayo on top and if I was umpiring, I'd let him know to pipe down just a smidge. We've got a funny little free kick for a block on Gorn. Thought the first couple of bumps were okay. Then for some reason, Houston decides to just throw his arms out and almost shepherd Gorn from getting to the goals. And in this case, the umpire paid a blocking free kick. Some supporters were quite annoyed by the decision, but as a matter of fact, it is very correct and relevant in the game. Under the definitions, interpretations and variations section or part B of the rule book, we've got a little something called shepherd, which is where the act of a player using the body to push bump or block an opposition player who does not have possession of the football and who is no further than five meters away from the football. Clearly Gorn is further than five meters away so happy to pay this every day of the week since Houston had his arms out like a plane stopping Gorn or shepherding Gorn from where he wants to go. Good call on Pedraka who is dispossessed for holding the ball. Crazy over the head goal by Pal Pepper again an umpire wants their face on the big screen reviewing this when the only thing the ball was touching was the f***ing air. Not a fan of this call holding the man paid to Hibbard when he took possession tries to go over the top of Lord but is dispossessed without getting it away correctly. The call is then holding on Hibbard when this should have either been holding the ball, incorrect disposal, or play on. Given we see tackles all the time that are held without the ball like this, and as I said last week in the Tigers and Cats game, hundreds of these go missed and should be called. If you're going to pay one, pay them all. Clear throw on Rosie here. For some reason he thought he handballed the ball and I don't see how. Maybe it was bang bang, but I honestly think it was just a reaction. Pick it with an unrealistic attempt, probably the correct call. I would have paid a block but a free kick nonetheless. Petrarca called for another holding the ball. Umpire called this on the second attempt as diving on top of the ball, dragging it back in. At first, I thought it should have been a push in the back and there wasn't really much he could do in this position after already falling on top of the ball. The umpire saw Petrarca drag the ball back in and paid it as he saw it. Holding the ball on Langdon as he slips and goes to ground. Had prior to dish out the ball, but never did. Good call. Horn Francis draws the free kick with a high tackle. These ones are quite frustrating as fans of the game. However, the call is there and drawing a free kick should be a part of the game. Similar to drawing fouls in basketball, Ball, which means that the tacklers need to be more careful when going at the body as players are starting to learn more about dropping the knee and being awarded free kicks. We don't really see much of this free kick from the first bounce of the second quarter. Arm being held presumably but the umpire calls a block. Going to put this one is unknown. Oliver caught throwing the ball much to his surprise. Was pretty bang bang but definitely there and well picked up on. Gorn gets blocked again and this time running off the ground and Pal Pepper gets in his way to block him from doing so. This call was just not conclusive enough to pay. There are times for push and shove and this is okay case since it isn't a full-on shepherd as we just saw. Not a whole heap in this one. May gets taken high. Looked like it was around the shoulder a couple of times. Fairly soft free kick but benefit of the doubt on this occasion. Lord makes a sliding tackle and completely wipes out Lever in the process. Clear trip good call. This holding the ball call was not paid. First one of the match that I picked up on. There were a few iffy non-pay decisions in the first quarter but not enough leverage but this non-holding the ball call should have been incorrect disposal. Spargo picks up the ball while fending and spinning and is stripped of it without making a genuine attempt to correctly get rid of the ball. We've got a front on contact which looked more like a side on contact call though should have been paid high as Fritsch also chopped the arms in the process. Langdon kicks a ball out of bounds with no intent to keep this in. Good call. This tackle on Pal Pepper is interesting. Live I was like oh yep insufficient intent because he had time to dispose of the ball. He runs straight into the Oliver tackle and blatantly walks it over even trying to fend the tackle. Like yes the ball is over the boundary line but before this Pal Pepper had sufficient time to dispose of the ball and then clearly walks it over. Has to be paid insufficient intent to keep the ball in play which is what players are supposed to do. So a little bit confusing this one. Oliver gives away the easiest of calls on the night front on contact. Oliver is pinged for a throw and this one looked a lot better than last his hand at least curled in a fist but we don't have the greatest of angles for this one. A bullshit call to start the third quarter against Grundy who lays a great tackle well, a great tackle for a 2012 game where the players were actually allowed to touch players. Give this game another five years and we'll be seeing touch football in no time. Burn Jones tries to spin around Grundy's tackle and is dispossessed and Grundy kept slinging him around and throws him to the deck without any injuries or harm to Burn Jones. No head clash on the surface, no broken arms, no jarred fingers or bursted appendix. Just a f***ing horse shit call. Get over yourselves. Holding the ball, no doubter. This reaction says it all. Bro is so pissed off with the game he cannot speak and if he did, 
guaranteed he'd be speaking a whole nother language just to avoid dissent. Oliver being held in the middle again, simplest of calls. Holding the man not called, don't even get me started with this non-call. Where in a million years does an umpire not pay this? Salem never took clean possession and is dragged to the ground. Finn Layson took a couple too many steps and is ran down in front of the goals. Bud has played a ripper game all night but this time was dispossessed for holding the ball. If this was a high call on Gorn, it was only there by the slimmest of margins, slightly around the neck of him and the umpire pays in his favour. Aaliyah with a slight jumper hold on Fritch gives away an iffy free kick. Another slight hold on Oliver in the middle and now I'm starting to think that Salem's wasn't paid because he was dragged down on his ass. when all you need to do is put your hands in the air. Downfield pushing the back free kick against Pal Pepper, let his anger out after the Oliver kick which was a little silly though Clayton did put a little bit of mayo on top. Again another small hold on the jumper, paying the slightest ones in the third quarter. 6-6 six, six rule against Melbourne, have to trust the umpires with these calls since there's four of them out there looking out for this and we don't have vision of the entire field. This one was definitely the wrong decision. Gorn and Lysette in the ruck contest and Gorn grabs the jersey of Lysette, throws him to the deck and Lysette grabs the body of Gorn who also comes down to the ground. Either pay the first hold or call play on. Sick of the retaliator getting in trouble. Maybe one of the worst calls of the night. High contact as the ball has gone out of bounds. For some reason we can call the rules after the boundary line so why not this one. Another ruck contest call. This time Grundy v Lysette and again Lysette comes off worse with the retaliation. First Grundy has him around the hips from in front, then Lysette with his left arm drags him to the ground. Not really happy with this call, both holding, play on. Rosie with his head over the ball gets absolutely cleaned up by Hunter who elects for a bump. The high contact made and free kick rightfully given. Butters is held without the ball but again, only another slight hold and not too much in it. A high tackle on Butters opens the fourth quarter who was also held without the ball as well so pick your poison, good call. An off the ball free kick against Van Royen for high contact. Finlayson lets him know about the tackle for some reason and Van Royen retaliates with a punch to the shoulder region and enough for the umpire to call this high. Again, the retaliator gets in strife, but the umpire needs to allow the other side to strike back, though this was quite high and probably there to pay. Grundy being held without the ball in a two-on-one, Lysette didn't need to grab him when he is just as tall as him to contest for the ball. Horn Francis is legged by Salem with a silly kick of the legs to stop the momentum forward, probably a good free kick to give away in the end to reset your defence. An arm chop not called on Lord who had an attempt at the mark. Usually the umpires are all over these ones but this one definitely missed. McDonald taken in a tackle with Pryor is first taken high then to the ground and the umpire pays the latter holding the ball. I was quite dumbfounded when he paid this holding the ball and not high free kick. The only way this could have not been high is that he tried to shrug or fend the tackler which voids the high contact but in this case the tackle was laid before the fend could even be made and this is clearly around the shoulder and neck region. The shank kick of dreams by Williams and and Lord the Saviour read it off the boot when no one else could. Best assist of the game. This smother by Petrarca and the follow up on the boundary line was phenomenal to watch. The 1 2 to break his man and get the ball forward is all experience. Just to never give up is something a lot of juniors should be learning. Butters is taken high in the tackle and is awarded the free kick in sight of the goals. Petrarca takes possession while being tackled by Meade, tries to get a kick out but is dispossessed for holding the ball. There's a random umpire whistle in amongst this play, nothing ever came of it. My and Rosie kicks a brilliant goal to get back in front. Was the whistle blown for a free kick or advantage when there was none or just a stupid mistake? We'll never know but what a goal by Rosie. Williams sliding in for the ball is tackled and throws the ball out. Should have been paid to throw as this is all open palm. Straight after a sliding Viney trips Houston over the ball and should have been given a red card. Pal Pepper gives away a silly 50 metre penalty by pushing Lever over as he marked the ball. Not long left now and just about impossible for the Demons to win. An insufficient intent call goes in their favor but scrubbing forward one of the worst boundary throw-ins i've ever seen you literally cannot make this shit up the throw-in may as well have been in ports ford 50 and the umpire too scared to recall the throw with dying seconds left to cap it all off the siren sounds with hinkley jumping up and down like a kid in a candy store or just me at the end of my work shift a four point win to port to put them second on the ladder in what was a night full of ups and downs for both teams power played three quarters while melbourne only the one petrarca shine during the third quarter Water, but overall, Butters came through with 41 disposals, shutting the lid on any attempt by the Demons in a drenching game. The umpire counter looking at a 35 to 7 sheet. While there wasn't many non-paid decisions obvious enough in the wet conditions to call, looking at a 0, 1, 4 sheet. The next umpire in depth I do will have the data counted to see how accurate the umpires have actually been. Play on AFL. Things do better with fun and laughter.